Hello and welcome to Laser Scanning Europe TV. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to use your point cap data in SolidWorks. Open up your SolidWorks and start on a new part. Select the plane that you are going to work on. In this case, I choose the front plane. And I choose to make a new sketch. Go to Tools, Sketch Tools, and Sketch Picture. At this point, it is important that you have located your point cap log file and looked in that to see your scale of your pictures. In this particular case, the scale for the pictures are 20 by 20 meters. Once you have located your point cap data, you choose the lower left picture. Now you have to set up your scale and we know that it's 20,000 millimeters. Because we have locked this one, we only have to enter 20,000 in one of these fields and the other one is following. And we are choose to put in the pictures at the zero zero point for the X and Y axis. Hit OK. And when you zoom out, see now that you have the picture. So go to Tools again, Sketch Tools, Sketch Picture, and choose the ne next picture. In this case, it's the upper left picture and as you can see it's placed down here so we have to move it upwards towards the y-axis 20,000 millimeters and we have to set the scale and you have to do this for all four of your pictures so you will have something like this you can close the sketch and you have a perfect 2D layout in your 3D CAD system you can do this for a side view also by now you could experience that you have choose to put your point cap data on a, a wrong layer or a, a wrong plane. That's no problem. This one is on the front plane, but we would prefer to have it on the top plane because it's a top view. So you can just right click on your sketch, choose edit sketch plane. Right click this, delete, and choose to have it on the top plane and hit OK. Then it's moved to the top plane and you are ready to put in your side view pictures. So choose the front plane and make a sketch. Do the same thing again in the tools, sketch tools sketch pictures and everything is just like before you choose the first picture and it's located zero by zero so print in your scale and you see the side view is perfectly fitted with the top view so you can put in the next side view picture and you'll have something like this so now you have a top view background and a side view background if you find out that one of the pictures are wrong you have to exit your sketch and choose the picture that you want to delete right click and delete it 
then go into your sketch again and put in the right picture. Now some people prefer to have a transparent background instead of the black background. This is no problem in SolidWorks. You just double click on one of the pictures and over here in the browser you have a transparency. Click the user defined and this is the color selection and you tell the system this color you want to be transparent. Take this glider and move to the right and you have transparent layout. You could do this for all the pictures. Just double click, user defined, select the color and move this slider all to the right. And your layout will look like this. So now you are ready to go using your point cap data in SOLIDWORKS. Thank you for watching Laser Scanning Europe TV.